Welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog. EWTN's founders, our beloved Mother Angelica, first brought this program into the homes of EWTN viewers in 1996. Since then, Religious Catalog has offered thousands of Catholic products, including good books, beautiful religious art, rosaries and medals, statues of Our Lord, Our Lady, the saints, and crucifixes, all designed to enrich our spiritual lives. Religious Catalog is also your source for many of the favorite programs seen here on EWTN, including exclusive series, specials, live shows, and feature films. I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. And now, here's Mother Angelica. Well, hello, and welcome to our Religious Catalog Show. And don't forget, this is a service. We want to remind you of Jesus. So please don't let it replace your donation to EWTN. The first thing I want to show you is the Pentateuch. And so it has a Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. It's known to the Christians and Jews alike as the law in Hebrew called Torah. It's a name given to the first five books of the Bible. So Genesis deals with the creation of the world, of man and people of Israel. Exodus is an account of, of the journey of the Israelites from Egypt to the Promised Land. Leviticus deals with ritual, with holiness and worship. And Numbers takes its name from the census and lists all the families of the Israelites. Deuteronomy now is attributed to Moses and describes the stages of the Exodus. Now, this book contains a full biblical text in the Revised Standard Version and the New Vulgate together. Because some translations explain things. Not I like, and I've said it a hundred times, the New Testament, and this one is the explanations. Look at that. Here's the, the uh, Bible, and here is the explanation. The commentaries are worth what you're going to pay for this Bible. Because they're true commentaries. They adhere to the teachings of the church. They explain the doctrinal and practical meaning of scriptural texts. And they draw from every kind of source, church documents, the writings of the fathers, the doctors of the church. You'll never find another one that I call a family Bible. Something that you can read and you don't understand, not skip it over, but you'll have the best commentary you'll find today. Now, there's a little text in Latin, if you can read Latin, but all the rest of it, of course, is in English. It's reliable and readable, and that's why I'm so anxious for you to have it in your house. Even if you don't read it, maybe your children will. Maybe they have a doubt. Maybe they've left the church because they don't know. This will bring them back. Here's another book called Inside the Bible, and it's written, you know Kenneth Baker, Father Kenneth Baker's been on the network a long time, off and on. There's an introduction to 73 books of the Bible. A great reference source. You want to know about O.C.? There it is. You want to know about Proverbs? Here it is. You see what happens to Catholics because the Bible is everywhere in the liturgy, but we don't take time to read. It tells about the time frame and author of every book, the theme of every book, a summary of what it says, an explanation of the context it's written, the theology of the book, the outline and prayers taken from each book. You say, all of that's in that book? Yeah, it is. See, you need these. 
the great, one of the greatest things that's wrong with society, we know about God, but we don't know God. And this book will help you to understand the Bible. Now, you know, I've heard people say, well, the Bible doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, don't say that. It's the Word of God. And here's a book that says, Making Senses Out of Scripture. Uh, it's written by Mark Shea, and it's, well, talks about the earliest revelations of God and the light of the Gentiles, an allegorical sense of Scripture, the moral sense of Scripture. It's an exciting book. And you know, I'm glad you're buying books. You are buying books. Thirty-some percent of everything goes out of here is in book form. What a wonderful thing. Read, 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 and read more. Now we got this good old standby from Ignatius Press, the Holy Bible, a Revised Standard Edition. This is a Catholic edition. And it doesn't have inclusive language. There's not one bit of inclusive language in this Bible. It's a, it's a major modern translation, but it's very good. You know, we started taking uh, some of the Old Testament just last night, and it's, it's just a beautiful Bible. It's clear, accurate, mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful, good modern translation in English. Along with the Jerusalem Bible, there's another one of my favorite translations. This one has 1,100 pages, hardcover edition. So you say, I don't have a Bible. Well, we got them. The next is the Gospel of St. Matthew. You know, sometimes <clears throat> if we haven't really begun to read the Bible, it's good to get one of these books, Ignatius Catholic Study Bible. And I know the word study kind of turns you off sometimes. But see, there's all kinds of notes in here. And sometimes they explain something in three different ways. It isn't something you're going to sit down and read. It includes a commentary and notes by Scott Hahn and Curtis Mitch and includes study questions. He said, oh, I don't think I want something like that. But you need to because you don't always understand what the Bible says. Sometimes it'll take one word and that changes everything for you. It makes you understand more, see? On a good rainy day or a good cold day and you don't want to go out, this is the greatest thing you could get because it, it has renowned fathers of the church and, and, and people who are scholars in scripture and it's awesome. For example, it says here, Jesus explains the parable of the weeds. The apostles didn't know what they say. They said, explain to us the parable of the weeds. You think that'd be simple? Well, then he says what he answers and said what he meant. It's a great little thing. Look, it's small. Think of your soul more than you think of things that pass. Well, Doug's here now to recap everything I've spoken about on the program and how you can go about ordering it. Thanks, Mother. But first, here's Barbara with some new items for our consideration. St. Thomas Aquinas once said, As mariners are guided into port by the shining of a star, so Christians are guided to heaven by Mary. In other words, Mary, our mother, will always lead us to her son. Today we have several items concerning Our Lady. First, we have a miraculous metal plaque. When Mary appeared to St. Catherine Labore in 1830, the Blessed Mother showed her the image of a medal that Our Lady wished to have made. Mary promised all who wear it will receive great graces. We also have an Immaculate Heart of Mary plaque. 
the merciful gaze of the Blessed Virgin fills the beholder with the love for her Divine Son and the compassion for mankind that burns in her immaculate heart. This beautiful image is in deep, rich colors and has a durable satin finish. Each plaque is mounted on wood and keyhole for hanging and measures approximately 8 inches by 10 inches. And here is a praying Virgin Mary statue. The patriotic colors used to paint this beautiful statue are a subtle reminder that Mary is the Queen of the Americas. She prays faithfully for our nation and wants us to join her in that prayer. It is made of resin and measures 11 and 3 quarter inches high. And next is the Our Lady of Grace statue. This resin statue is hand painted with beautiful detail in soft blue and white. Standing on the dome base, it measures 10 inches high. And likewise, we have an Our Lady of Grace holy water font with roses. This holy water font is designed to either hang on a wall or sit on a table or dresser. It is hand painted with soft colors and has pink roses at the base. It is made of resin and measures seven inches from base to top. And here is a beautiful pink speckled rosary with rosebud medals that is made with six millimeter beads and rosebud medals for the Our Fathers and Center. The rosebud medals are one half inch and on the reverse side of each medal is a small imprint of Our Lady of Lourdes appearing to St. Bernadette at the Grotto in Lourdes. And next we have this book our Lady's Rosary Novenas by Reverend Bernard A. McCaffrey. This little book is fully illustrated with meditations and indulgences and contains a thorough history of the rosary, explanations on the various prayers of the rosary, the joyful, sorrowful, luminous, and glorious mysteries, the 15 promises of the rosary, teachings of Pope John Paul II on indulgences, the 54-day Rosary Novena, a Novena in honor of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, and other Novena prayers. Also quotes by various saints on the Rosary, and much more. And here is a great holy reminder. It is the St. Christopher Auto Rosary, which is made with five millimeter smooth round glass beads, a one and a quarter inch pewter crucifix, and a centerpiece that features St. Christopher. It includes a lobster claw clasp, so it can be stored on the rear view mirror when you're not using it. This next rosary, would be a great present for someone. It is the Family Tree Birthstone Rosary. It is made with six millimeter facet cut glass beads in all 12 birthstone colors. The Our Father beads are double capped with silver plated caps to set them apart. It features a dogwood tree crucifix and Marian center, both made of highly polished pewter. We also have a crystal bead rosary with relic, which is made with six millimeter clear crystal beads, a miraculous metal center, and a pewter crucifix. The crucifix contains a piece of cloth that was touched to Jesus' tomb at the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. And next is this Madonna and Child rosary box. It is designed with exquisite detail. This rosary box features a gorgeous relief of Our Lady and the Child Jesus. It is made of resin stone mix and measures approximately three inches by three inches by two inches. The lid is removable. And we also have a Madonna and Child crib medal, which would make a wonderful baptism gift. 
This blue and white three-dimensional crib metal is made of a resin stone mix and measures three inches in diameter. It includes a white satin ribbon for hanging. And here is a Madonna and Child holy water font. This blue and white font is made of a resin stone mix and measures approximately six inches by three and a half inches by two inches. And this is a stunning Pieta holy water font, which is modeled after Michelangelo's famous Pieta sculpture. This magnificent reproduction sits atop a deep decorative basin. It is made of white resin and measures nine and three quarter inches. And finally, we have the Linosance statue. This beautiful resin statue is hand painted and measures 11 and 3 quarter inches high. And now here's Doug who will tell us more about these wonderful holy reminders. Thanks Barbara. Now here's a look at the items that Mother has presented on this program. Now the first of our holy reminders from Mother Angelica was the Navarre Bible, the Pentateuch, 99027, that's the item number, priced at $45 from the Navarre Bible. We also have inside the Bible, the book, priced at $18, item number is 6653 for the book inside the Bible. Another book is Making Senses Out of Scripture, item number 61065, priced at $15, that's Making Senses Out of Scripture. We also have the Ignatius Holy Bible, the blue cover. This is the hardcover edition, 4901, priced at $32. Very popular, the Ignatius Holy Bible. And closing things out for Mother was the Ignatius Study Bible on the Gospel of Matthew. And it's priced at $10, item number 8176, Ignatius Study Bible, focusing on Matthew. Now moving on to the items that Barbara has presented. First up from Barbara was the miraculous metal plaque pictured on your screen. It's priced at $28. Item number is 274LG. This is the miraculous metal plaque. Likewise, we have the Immaculate Heart of Mary icon that she showed us. It's also $28. Its item number is 549LG, Immaculate Heart of Mary icon. Next, we have the Praying Virgin Mary statue, it's 74504C, priced at $54. That's the Praying Virgin Mary statue pictured on your screen. Up next is our Lady of Grace statue. It's a 10-inch version, priced at $52. It's item number 75009C, our Lady of Grace statue. We also have our Lady of Grace holy water font with roses. Priced at $36, item number is 75377. That's the holy water font. Next, we have the pink speckled rosary with rosebud metals. Priced at $18, P174R for the pink speckled rosary with rosebud metals. Or our ladies rosary novenas, illustrated is available. $11 is the price. And its item number is 2447, Our Lady's Rosary Novenas, and these are illustrated. Next up from Barbara was the St. Christopher Auto Rosary in blue. AR32C is the item number priced at $7.50 for the St. Christopher Auto Rosary in blue. We also have the Family Tree Birthstone Rosary priced at $38, item number 378RF for the Family Tree Birthstone Rosary. Or there's the Crystal Rosary with Relic. VRCR is the item number. It's $25 for the Crystal Rosary. Next up from Barbara was the Madonna and Child Keepsake Box, priced at $11, item number 64595 for the Keepsake Box. Or there's the Madonna and Child Crib Metal. It's likewise priced at $11, item number is 65499. Now this is the Child Crib Metal. There's also the Madonna and Child Holy Water font, priced at $15, item number 60374. That's the Holy Water font. We also have a Pieta Holy Water font. This one's in white, as you can see. It's priced at $44, 75364 is its item number. 
And closing things out on this program is the Leon Sons statue, uh, priced at $76. It's 75188 for that statue that Barbara showed us. So if you'd like to order any of these items featured on this particular program, just go to our EWTN Religious Catalog website, which is www.ewtnreligiouscatalog.com, and you can see all the items featured on this particular program. In fact, all the items offered by EWTN's Religious Catalog are on this site at all times, available for you to peruse 24 hours a day at your leisure, and you can order at any time. Of course, if you'd still prefer to give us a call, our number is 1-800-854-6316. You can use your Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and or American Express, either on our secured internet site or over the phone. And now, back to Barbara. When Mother Angelica founded EWTN Religious Catalog, she hoped we would be the most widely known and trusted source for religious articles and other items to help our viewers deepen their knowledge and understanding of the Roman Catholic faith. You have many choices when deciding where to purchase Holy Reminders. Every purchase made directly supports the important work and mission of EWTN. We sincerely appreciate your choice to support us through your purchases from Religious Catalog.